Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Tyler Merkovich with Emery Hunt, the Czar to Playbook, bringing you an AFC South matchup that presents us two of the division's top teams. It's the Houston Texans at the undefeated Indianapolis Colts, and a devastating loss for the Texans as they lost one of their top targets in the passing game and starting tight end, Owen Daniels, for the season. That's too bad because this offense is rolling. This t team no longer has a title of Jekyll and Hyde as they finally get jump clearly over 500 to 5 and 3 over the Bills. What are your keys to victory for Gary Kubiak, who has a defense playing very, very well? We thought their secondary had a problem, and they're even playing good too, also. Keys, keys to victory for the Texans, they have to utilize that big offensive line they have against the smallest front of the Colts. That is number one. And you look at what Ryan Moss was able to do last week. They gave him some touches. He used, he took it to his advantage and made the most out of the opportunity. So you have to get Moats involved now, along with Brown, along with Slayton, if he can hold on to the football. So now you have a three-headed rushing attack. That's going to help out. That's going to ease some of the loss of Owen Daniels. So that's going to be key. They're going to have to get that running game going with that O-line against the Colts' defensive front. Second, you look at what the Colts want to do offensively. They want to get the ball out quick. So you look at now you have Dante Robinson is playing playing well. I like Dante Robinson. You look at the fact that they're going to have to get pressure on Peyton Manning. Mario Williams, where have you been? Three sacks already this season. He's going to have to step up and get after Manning. The, the problem is they don't run a 3-4, so the O-line should have some, some ease protecting Manning this week. So they're going to have to force the issue with the run without blitzing because if you blitz, that leaves you one-on-one -on -one matchups. Third, you look at the special teams battle. Jacoby Jones, New Orleans native, is going to have to come up with a big play. He always has an opportunity to step up big in this game, in these type of games. This is a game that Houston has to win to make some serious noise to go to the playoffs. Those are the keys. So especially it has to be, you know, big thing on the road. Jacoby Jones has going to help these guys play field position. So those are the keys to victory for the Texans. And their offensive line is mashing finally as... They were very hesitant in the beginning of the year, not playing too well. Ryan Moats, as you said, he's having he's took over for Slayton as he couldn't hold on to the ball, so he came through. For the Colts, they needed a trick touchdown to beat the Niners, but the Niners coach, one of their coaches, used to be with Indy, so he knew all Peyton Manning's signal calls and all that. I think the Colts are going to get back on track here. What are your keys to victory for Jim Caldwell? Keys to victory for the Colts is you have to make the Texans one-dimensional. Buffalo struggled because the Texans were able to run the football and operate off play action. So they're going to have to stop. They're going to have to make a concerted effort to stop the run this week. Don't allow any one of those running backs to get anything going offensively because that's going to allow your defensive ends, Mathis and Freeman, to tee off on Schaub. If Schaub has time in the pocket, he will pick apart that coat secondary. Two, you look at Bob Sanders. Back, made a play last week, which is awesome. Anytime he's back there, he's going to make a play. He's going to have to be big because you've got to – there's no strong – there's no tight end this week for the Texans. So you look at Bob Sanders versus that running game, that's going to be huge. He's going to have to be that eighth guy in the box to stop the run. That's number two. Third, I look at what, what the Colts – we got the Colts in trouble yesterday, uh, last week against – the 49ers is pass protection. They're going to have to keep that pass protection going because the different looks, different coverages frustrated that Peyton Manning and his timing. That was because it was a 3-4, and the 49ers threw a lot of different looks. I don't think Texas is going to be that fancy on defense to toss a lot of different looks. I think the Colts will be able to protect the front and put on a better show at home. Plus, this is a key divisional matchup. I like the Colts at home. So what else is there? You're taking the favorite. I'm going with the, not too big of a loss as Daniels for Schaub. I'm going with the Colts. They're going to play better. Wayne wasn't 100%. He should be. Their offense will get going. I like the Colts in the division matchup who have owned the Texans over the years. But keys, uh, one key matchup to watch, Winston, the tackle, versus Freeney or Mathis. That is a good matchup. Winston has proven to be a solid pro out of Miami. For more, visit footballgameplan.com slash NFL.